Okay, my friends, hello, good evening. I know some of you are connecting now because of the rain. Está un poquito fuerte la lluvia. Esperemos que no haya problemas con el internet. Esperemos un par de segundos. Okay, my friends, uh, let's see if we can start the class. I know uh, it is raining a lot in some parts of San Salvador. And let's see who do we have here. Uh, Guillermo, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm, I'm really good. Okay, teacher, I'm... I have a question. Tell me. With the homework of the unit four, mm -hmm. um, the homework number nineteen. If you, ha if you have difficulties, could you send me screenshots and we, we can work on it? If you please, you have difficulties with the sentences. I guess they are sentences, right? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at them so we can finish. Okay. I will send it in the chat. Okay, nice. Let's see who who else. Oscar, good evening. 
Welcome back, my friend. Hi, Oscar. Everything in order? Creo que sí, ¿verdad? No sé si me escucha Oscar, Evelyn. Yes. 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 Do, do oh. you listen? Now, yes. Okay. Now I can listen. Everything. Okay. That's me. Nice, nice. Okay, my friends, I'd like to hear that. Evelyn, good, e good evening. How are you? ¿Cómo estás, Evelyn? Fine. Well, I'm I'm good. I know it's uh it's Monday, so it is not easy. No, it's not fast. Mondays are kind of difficult, right? Because we start the, the, the week and so on. So see si Guillermo, okay, so here. If uh, okay, uh, which one you have problems with uh, the three of them, Guillermo? With the five teacher. But here we have one, two, three. I don't know. You have some other. Yes. Because I can I can only see number one, two, and three. There is a the other picture screenshot. Okay. Okay, let me check this. Esa, esa recuerdo que la hicimos en la clase pasada, el viernes. Las hicimos. Y es. Estaban en los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Sí. So, yeah. Okay. So you say number five, uh, Guillermo. Exercise number five. Yes. No, all of them, todas. All of them. Okay, let's check one by one. Okay, if. Mm -hmm. Do you already finished them, John? John, you have finished what? this? Yes. Okay. If I wake up. Let me. Yeah, if I wake up. Mm hmm. Let, uh, let's try this. Try that, Guillermo. Number one, if you if you want. Okay, let's see number two. Eh, si lo ingresé así, es que lo ingresé de varias formas, pero no sé qué pasa con esa plataforma. Y esa porque... number one, y con el punto al final. Tiene que usar también la, la, la coma. coma. <ríe> ¿Ah? Sí, ya lo intenté así. <ríe> okay, Espérame, ¿cuál déjame, es? revisar. déjame revisar. Number one, exercise 19, right? Sí, es que he intentado de todas formas, incluso con las contracciones y todo, pero no uh -huh. sé. A veces esa plataforma por un punto o una coma no eh, le da es, es cierto, sí. Number Tenía five. Razón. Number five. Yo la tengo así mismo. Exercise 
Igual he pasado luchando con una uh -huh. en el Mitchell es que, de la es que hay unos que plano mano por en una el coma no, no sé si quieren que solo pongan la palabra y una coma y luego la otra <risa> que es la última sí está bien es del final exam o de unit four nada más Eh, you need four. Ok, four. Ya, les digo. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a hacer algo, vamos a hacer algo. Se la voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp y las copias tal cual, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, el punto. Es más, si alguien tiene la del Michel, la número, la última. Uh -huh. Ya se la voy a mandar. Creo que esa les está dando dificultades. Just give me a couple of seconds because my internet is having some difficulties because of the weather. I guess it's going to rain near my house in a couple of minutes. So I'm having difficulties. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Dice Marcela que este día no podrá conectarse porque no tiene acceso a wifi de donde se encuentra. Ok. Ya vemos. Let me check. Pero esperen que cargue. Marcela. Yes. Marcela. Claudia Marcela. <laughs> pues, okay. Okay, I'm going to send the, the that one. This is exercise one from from homework 19, okay? Mm -hmm. Hay una contracción acá. Okay, try them and then you tell me. Okay, teacher. Let's do it. If the others are want to finish that part, okay, you can do it right now. We have time. Okay, everything in order, right, uh, John? Sí, Carlos Salí me des, eh, comentaba que el DAS en esta, no se escribe en mayúscula. Igual, yo le escribí así en mayúscula y estaba buena. ¿Cuál es el DAS? Ajá, el DAS en, en la número cuatro. Uh -huh. Lo tengo en mayúscula, el DAS en. Mm, really? She doesn't have to pay, right? Ajá, uh -huh. lo tengo con la letra D mayúscula, pero Rosalí dice que no se escribe con la D mayúscula. Mm -hmm. No, no, tiene que ser minúscula, ajá. Uh -huh. 
pero yo la tengo buena. Eso es lo que le decía a ella, que aún así la tengo buena. Curioso. Ella acaba de postearla. Gramaticalmente, sí. Con el tema de, 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 de digamos, Entonces de... no debería de ser mayúsculo. No, no debería ser mayúscula, pero si ya te Ok. la aceptó, déjala así. Ok. No, 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 las la mayúsculas solo son inicio de oraciones o en el caso que sean preguntas cerradas, por ejemplo, do or does. Okay. Hey, thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Ok, it's a pleasure, my friends. So the rest of you, you can take advantage. Pueden aprovechar, ok. Look at the sentences, that's for unit number, uh, homework uh, 19. Some students have, well, some participants have told me that you have had some difficulties, some problems, and that's because of the platform. La plataforma es muy amigable y todo eso, but we have some problems as well. Okay, nice. Y sé que también ustedes han estado intentando. You have been trying, right? So it, it happens. Okay, we're going to uh, start with uh, class number 19, class C, numero 19. Mañana terminamos ya el módulo, right? So that's really positive because we are about to finish this process. Okay, uh, the topic of tonight is how to use zero conditional. That is something that we, uh, We reviewed yesterday. Ayer estuvimos viendo eso. I'm sorry, on Friday. Yesterday I was having some relax. So um, on Friday, yeah, we studied the conditional zero. And we're going to have a review now, okay? So let's see. Okay. Uh, this is like... Uh, uh, Initial question, okay? Uh, do you know people who lost their job in 2020? Remember when we had COVID-19, that, that was a, like a big problem. I needed to write the number of people that lost their job that you know or that you knew. In my case, I knew four. Four or my maybe friends, family members, or they lost their job. Text if you have like one friend, two friends, or relatives that lost their job because of the COVID. Okay, because of that, I'm going to wait for your answers. So let's see. Um, Guillermo says four people. They were your friends, Guillermo, or relatives? Mm, three of them was my friend at that time. And one uh, was my relative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I get it. Thank you. Um, here we have also Noé. Three people, your friends or family members? No, in your case? Yeah, in my case, three people were, they were my friends. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it was like very complicated situation. Yes. Because it is not like you lost your job and you can find another. There, people Yeah, were it's not difficult. working. Yeah. It's So, difficult, uh, yep. but that but is they survive, happened, right? right? Yeah. They could survive. 
Well, for example, one of them, um, I don't know, ah, okay. uh, mm -hmm. like began a business, oh, mm -hmm. gonna own business. Uh, yeah, yeah, even it is really curious, as you mentioned, and yes. that year, a lot of people had their business, right? Mm -hmm. Another yeah. form. Business about uh, cleaning. And, and how is it going? Uh, good for him yeah. or for her? He's still in the business. Good. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is like another opportunity. Maybe that yeah. person didn't think about that at the time, but yeah. yeah. That's right. It's another option. Good for him. Thank you. Okay, David, three people. Yes, teacher. Okay, friends yeah. or relatives? Friends, friends. Okay, and what happened to them? Yeah, maybe they could recover, they could survive after that. Yeah. Partners or colleagues. Partners. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh. Y no sé cómo sería corte de personal. Donde yes. Trabajo. Yeah, okay. Yes, like firing, firing personal. And they recovered, did they recover their jobs or they work in another thing, another area, another company? Another, okay, another company. Yes. Okay. Wow. Very complicated. Thank you, David. Rivas, what about you? A co-worker where you work before, teacher. Hey, okay. Only one. Yeah, that's hard. That That's really hard. Thank you. Oscar, don't know nobody. Okay, Maritza, don't know. Okay, John, what about you? How many people? Yes, I do. Um, I met several people uh, who died from COVID, oh, but, really? hmm? but were retired um, or neighbors. Oh, neighbors, yes. That's really sad because, uh, yeah, the uh, coronavirus affected a lot of elders. Bastantes ancianos. Okay, so that's really sad. Okay, let's move. Here we have ways to express disagreement. Okay, ways to express disagreement. In this case, here we have I don't agree. I don't think so. That's not how I see it. That's not how I see it. Or that's not true. Four different forms to express that you uh, don't share that opinion. Cuando no compartes una opinión, entonces hay cuatro maneras para decirlo, ¿verdad? I don't agree. I don't think so. That's not how I see it. Or that's not true. Okay. La primera es no estoy de acuerdo, la otra es no, no creo, no pienso así, no creo eso. La tercera es eh, no es como lo veo. Y la última es eh, eso no es cierto, es un poquito más radical. Boa. So please say hi, hello, good evening, if you listen to your names. Here we have Adi, I guess Adi is not here, right? Well, um, let's see who else, Ana Cristina. Elias, I don't know. Rivas. Present teacher, I don't agree. Perfect, Rivas. Thank you very much. Uh, Claudia Marcela, Daniel. Present, that's not true. Thank you. David. Present teacher, good evening. Uh, I don't agree. Nice. Alejandra, I don't know if Alejandra is here. Good evening. Hello, Alejandra. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Perfect. Thank you. Evelyn, you go. I don't think so. Very nice. Thank you. Graciela. I guess no. Guillermo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, that's not true. Okay, that's not true. Uh, Jose, not right. John. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. I'm here and I choose I don't agree. Good. Agree. Nice. 
Okay, Katia, I guess is a listener. Mm. Maritza? Present. That's not true. Thank you. Mm. Marvin, no. No, eh? Okay, no, eh? Hello. Present teacher, sorry. Thank That's you. not how I see it. Very nice. Gustavo, what about you? Hi, DJ. Good evening. Good evening. That's not true. Thank you. Oscar? Present teacher, that's not how I see it. Good. Thank you. Rosalie? Present. I don't think so. Very nice. I don't know if Susie is here. Okay. And Teresa? Okay. So uh, let's see if we move, uh, we have like, okay, here we have a worksheet related to this. Uh, this the conditionals, as I told you before, we have different types of conditional, okay? And they are named because of the numbers. For example, zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. We are focusing on zero conditional. It's in present, totally in present, right? So in this case, um, we did this the last time, okay? We completed this, and, and we're going to have some other exercise. Okay, here we have this, and um, remember we have to work always on conditionals. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, doing part of segundo, para que eh, tengan una pues una idea bastante certera de esto. And then we continue.
Okay, and uh, let's see if we have some volunteers. We have just seven sentences. I guess you have already selected some of the sentences. Okay, let's see volunteers. Maybe we can start with John. Number two. Mm -hmm. If I if I try to cook, I read the food. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, eh? You have some other? Would be the number one. If it doesn't rain, plants cannot grow. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, which one did you say? Number one. Uh, number one, yes. If it doesn't rain, right? Yep. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Plants cannot grow. Mm -hmm. uh, Guillermo? Okay. Um, there in cycle to work if the water is good. Mm -hmm. There in. I guess it's cycles because it's third person. There and I person. guess I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Maybe a girl, okay. There and cycles, yeah. And if the weather is good. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can have Maritza. Any idea? And then uh, we have Daniel. Number five. Hmm? I feel good. If you visit me regularly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, you have yours and then David. If you eat, eat ice, it melts. Yeah, it melts. Mm -hmm. It's a rip. It melts. David, you have yours? Uh, number three, mm -hmm. just mop your skin age more quickly. Hmm. Edges. Uh -huh. Se hace más vieja, vieja. Okay, and here we have number six. Maybe we can have um, Rosalie if you're available. The teacher water evaporates if you boil it. That's it, if you boil it, okay? So here we have more examples and we already know how to use zero conditional, right? Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Describe your ideal job. Okay, my ideal job would be como sería el trabajo ideal para ustedes. Okay, being realistic here in El Salvador because we have a lot of ideas related or compare in comparison to some other countries. But here in El Salvador, how could it be like an ideal job? Okay, uh, volunteers for this? Okay, we have Guillermo and then David. Hey, Guillermo, tell us, uh, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. My ideal job could be? Okay, uh, my ideal job um, will be one that uh, pay me fairly <laughs> <laughs> without splotting me <laughs> in my, my work. Mm, that I can rest on weekend and holidays and with good benefit of law and I don't know how to say con un radio fijo. No me yeah, I, okay, yes, with an established schedule. Okay, yes. Established. Yeah, I guess that's that's very important because of your health, right? Your body feels like different agendas, different schedules. Okay, so Honestly, Guillermo, you're asking for 
for something legal, something like <laughs> fight. Yeah, yeah. You're not asking like uh, to 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 be paid like five thousand dollars, right? <laughs> Just no. pay fairly. Yes. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. I like it. David, ¿cuántos miles te van a pagar? How much? How much? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Uh, in, in my team, uh, my ideal job will be to work from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And the departure time is at uh, 3 p.m. with yeah. 20, 21 day, days of off vacation and a nice salary. Yes, a nice salary and working uh, from Monday to, to Friday. It's good. Because you can have the weekends for for your family for doing some other things, right? If your salary is, is good, it's nice, as you said. Okay, thank you. What about John? And then Rosalie. Okay, in my in my personal case, um, my ideal job would be. Uh, the one that works little and, okay. and is more. And so I will have more space for other social activities. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I guess uh, our jobs consume a lot of our time. And we don't go out with friends. We don't visit uh, our relatives as much as we want, right? We don't we don't spend too much time with our family as we want, right? It's our jobs. I guess that's a, that's a lot of negative aspects. But thank you, John. Okay, good. Let's listen to Rosalie and then Noe. Okay, teacher. Uh, my ideal job would be take care of cats okay everything related to their well-being to be paid for their i would be happy you are a cat lover rosalie okay yes mm -hmm. nice. i like I like okay from the rest of participations you have you have been the most detailed Mm -hmm. Because uh, the other participants mentioned good salary from Monday to Friday, okay? So that, that's something good. And you said, yeah, the same or similar, but related to cats, okay? Nice. Thank you. Uh, we go with Noé and then Maritza. Okay. Well, for me, my ideal job would be um, working a big, big garage with all my tools, with all my scanner, and enjoy fixing cars. You know, okay. I love fixed cars, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I, yeah. I guess you are working in something that you really love, Noe. Eh, yeah. Yeah, it's, we can see that. that. That's really good. But it will be better if you, if you have more tools, updated yeah. scanners, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, you can be more precisely detecting a lot of things. I guess you are the type of person that maybe feels good when you fix something, right? It is yeah. like a challenge. Es como un reto para ti, right? It's, I, I can see that. You, you have day. to do it. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's really good, okay? That's a, even like very interesting, of course. Thank you, Noah. Um, let's see, and another thing related to work to tools in another country, they have a lot of tools, right? And maybe we would like to have those tools mm -hmm. right here, but uh, it is kind of expensive, like here. Well, good. And um, we have Maritza, and um, yes, Maritza, right? Tell us, cuantos miles, Maritza? 10,000. Mm -hmm. No. My ideal job would be where there are personal parents, pay overtime, rest every weekend, enjoy all the holiday, and a good payment. Very interesting. Enjoy the holidays. 
mm. it's really sad when a lot of people are having fun on holidays and you work and you are not complaining, not just like handle, but you can say, I would like to have fun too, right? I remember mm. I worked on one on was December 25th, maybe single December. I, I worked and I was like, come on. I want to be at home resting and sleeping. <laughs> well, well, I understand, Maritza. I understand. I Thank you. I always work uh, 24 December. December, always. okay. 24, you work until noon or the complete day? Yes. No, okay, okay. But do you do you finish at, at 12 p.m.? Or do you finish at five or six on December twenty fourth? Oh, come on! Five. Yes, yes, you work completely the day, right? Okay. Yeah, yes, I know. Ya te tenés que ir. You have tenés que ir con el estreno y solo a trabajar, hombre. Esa es la, esa es la clave. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Maritza. Okay. Well, I know. Okay. I have been in 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 that situation. It is like really sad sometimes. Depends, depends. Okay, and we're going to finish with Oscar this round. Yeah, well, in my case, my ideal job could be if I have my own business. And I don't know really what thing of business, but I, I, I believe it's a good opportunity because one could be and make his own uh, horario, como se dice? Schedule or agenda. Schedule, uh -huh. And maybe it could be I have uh, time for my family to do many things, what I like. Mm -hmm. uh, to be your own boss, right? Yes. Yeah, to administrate yes. your time. Okay, your resources. Okay, good. Well, when we say agenda, we say, yes, it's like horario, but also refers to activities that we do from Monday to Saturday, for example, or to Friday. But schedule, could it be activities more detailed in every day? For example, have meetings, uh, prepare reports on one day. Así que schedule, schedule podría ser más específico. Esa es la pronunciación. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Ok, eh, son horarios. Rara esa palabra, es is very strange. Ok, we continue. We're going to listen to some others later. Interesting that no one of you have told me the quantity of salary. Nadie me lo ha dicho. Ustedes están bien, bien, se están reservando demasiado. We're going to talk about salaries in a moment, okay? Because I know that you have the quantity you would like to have as payment. I know we all have that, that quantity. The, uh, teacher, they are dreams. Yeah, are dreams. It, yes, yes. <laughs> it, it is very, it's out of reality, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, imagine uh, how are like uh, $200 in a supermarket. It is like, it is not that much, right? And related to other expenses, other gastos, a lot of things. Yeah, maybe we want the double, at least, of the salary that we have now. But as John says, it's a, it's a dream. Okay. Continue with this. And look at this. Read the following purchase order, la order de compra. Purchase orders information of a company. Okay, here we have Builder MT Management Technology. It's just MT. Here we have the vendor. The vendor is maybe could it be the enterprise, the company, or the person who uh, offers the service or the product. Here we have job address, okay, purchase order. And also, here we have some other information. Okay, can you see this is the address? Mm -hmm. Please uh, supply the following, okay, item. Estos son los items, okay, item description. 
Okay. Here we have the quantity, unit, price, and total. Okay. Uh, the work has been completed to the terms and conditions stated in our contract. Okay. So it can be service, company, mm -hmm. date, builder, date. Okay, here we have order, tax, que son los impuestos. In the United States, everything has like, uh, well, taxes, but not in the, in the, it is not included in the price. Here in El Salvador, we have IVA, impuesto al valor agregado. So when you want to buy like a, a pair of jeans, uh, that price has already IVA. Ya tiene el impuesto en El Salvador. But in the United States, uh, they reflect uh, the price and the tax, el impuesto, it's a part. But when you have to pay, yeah, obviously you have to pay both of them. So here we have another chart. Tenemos un cuadro por acá. Look at it. Here we have complete the following purchase order, then describe to a partner the process of selling the product. Okay, come on. Company phone address vendor ship to. Okay. And here we have uh, ship is el envío. ¿Cuál envío? Okay. So maybe we can have details, quantity, unit price, total, their date, phone address. We have to complete this. We can do something. We can, in the computer or in the cell phone, you can complete this and maybe we can have at least one product. Imagine you have, imagine you have a business. Oscar was saying that he would like to have his own business. So complete maybe what name would you want to, to, to have? Maybe our own company. You can have phone number address, vendorship, date of port, purchase order. In this case, you can invent a lot of information. The point is to fulfill it. Ese es el punto de esta actividad que aparece en el manual. Completarla como que si fuéramos as if we have like a company. Okay. We can have, imagine you have uh, electronic stuff. You can say, for example, yeah, smart TV. Uh, the quantity could it be two? Okay. Uh, the unit price could it be four hundred? And total could it be like this? Okay. So on the phone number, you can invent address vendor. So this is the, an activity that the manual asks us to do it. No pide que hagamos esta actividad. So maybe we can have this. And please send it to the chat of Zoom. Necesito que le envíen pero en el chat de Zoom. Okay? I'm going to give you like six minutes. Le doy una seis minutos. This is individual. And we're going to check the names of the company. We're going to check the details. Okay? So I'm going to put it here. Si alguien puede enviar la captura, that could it be nice. If not, of course, we have the manual. También tenemos el manual, ¿verdad? Okay, maybe we can have... Thank you very much. Here we have this. Vamos a ver si lo completamos. Podemos editar la imagen. You can edit the, the image. And I'm going to give you, le doy unos seis minutos, cinco, seis minutos, para que completenlo con el nombre. Remember, you can invent um, this information. Okay, pueden inventar todo. Okay. Uh, see you in, a, in six minutes. Lo veo en seis minutos, entonces. Y envíenlo al chat de Zoom, please.
Okay, let's listen and check your purchase orders. Here we have the first one, John, right? Okay, John, Microsoft is the, your company, right? Complejo World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. Vendor Omnisport. Okay, could you read the details of your article, please? Yes, uh, monitor monitor Asus BA24 inch, uh, quantity one, unit price uh, 200 $25. Okay, yeah, and that's the total price, right? Okay, yes. uh, very nice. Oh, everything complete. Thank you, John. Very good. Uh, let's see. Rosalie. Let's listen yours, Rosalie. Uh, JR Instrument, right? Could you uh, me, could you read your your purchase details? Pipeta mm -hmm. ten milli milliliters. Milliliters and fifty. Quantity, fifty okay. unit price unit price in five dollars and to total. Is two hundred fifty 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 dollars mm -hmm. fifty dollars and then here have mm, big care big care big care and uh -huh, the fifty mil milliliters and quantity is ten unit price is twenty five mm -hmm. and total is two hundred fifty dollars. Dollars. Okay, thank you. These uh, products are used for laboratories or something like that because they have strange names. The number of extraños. <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank you. Then we go now with Noé. Okay, Noé, your company, okay. its name uh, Noé Spare Parts, right? Yes. Okay, please, uh, let's listen to your product. Okay, my product, it's a turbo kit, the quality one, the unit price for um, thousand thirty, get right? Let me 30, see. Uh -huh. uh, 350. 350. Okay, 100, okay. what's a turbo kit? What is that? Yeah. It's a lot of... <laughs> a lot of things. A, a lot of things. Okay. It's yes. It, a kit of different things. Yeah, it's to make a car too much fast. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah because I, I can notice that it is like four thousand. So it means that yeah, it's a big yes. project for a car. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. Here we have also Oscar. Okay, Oscar. And here we have. Clean Masters. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the company Clean Masters. Mm -hmm. uh, the address, Nuevo Cuscatlán. Uh, vendedor. Uh, my name, uh, all, all, all the rest. And the details, okay. uh, gall gallons of detergent. Quantity, 1500 Price, $2 to anyone. Mm -hmm. And the total, $100. Okay. Okay, thank you. But I am checking. I guess it's one thousand mil, verdad? Oh, uh, the, 1, yeah, that's right. The that one thousand. Thank you. Okay, a uh, very interesting detergent. And here we have Maritza. I don't know. I can see your. Let's see your product. Okay, company Ome uh, Omega Company, right, Maritza? Yes. Okay. You. Okay. What about your product? Uh, pon quantity four for a unit price two hundred fifty. 
to start one thousand. One thousand. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, very interesting. Imagine uh, if you were a, a, a vendor or if you had a company that could be like a, a good uh, idea how to, well, yeah, how to fulfill the purchase order. Okay, let's continue with this. How uh, describe your ideal job. My ideal job would be, in this case, I would like to listen. Gustavo, Gustavo, are you there? Hi, teacher. Please, tell us. My ideal job globally where I can have my own business and be my own boss and, and be a, able to generate opportunities for other people. Okay, yeah, I like it because besides you have your your own like business, you would like to to help other people. Thank you. Um, maybe we can have now two. Daniel and then Rivas. Okay, Daniel. Uh, uh about the ideal job. I think that my ideal job will be. Um, uh, no. Hola, teacher, me escuchó. Hola, hola, no se me el, la señal de internet me, me, me falló. I'm sorry, you were saying. Your ideal the, job? Uh, my ideal job is um, to job in the sector public. Okay, you would like to have a, you would like to work in a, uh -huh, in a public sector or sector public. Okay, nice. And let's see. Thank you. What about if we have Rivas ahora? Okay, Rivas? teacher. In my ideal job, a place very close to my house where I can work, have travel benefits, and 14 salaries a year. Okay. <laughs> 14 salaries a year. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. And very in interesting and important aspect to live near. Okay. Well, your, your work or your workplace near your house. Yeah. Thank you. And maybe we can listen to Katia or Alejandra. Uh, yes, teacher. Please. My ideal job should be to work in a scientific research laboratory mm -hmm. where cures for the science based on technology are investigated. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice related to science. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alejandra, are you there? And then Evelyn, and we finish. Alejandra, are you there? Okay, Evelyn. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's continue with this. And here we have uh, some... some activities to complete, but first we have this, okay. Complete the sentences about yourself. Look at this, maybe I can send, I guess I'm going to send it to WhatsApp. So you can have this, la voy a enviar acá. So you can have both, I'm sorry. Just give me a second. Uh, 
Okay, you have there the first picture. And here we have picture number two. Okay. And this activity consists of next. And here we have some sentences. So we have to uh, finish three sentences. Look at this. And here we have sentence number one. For example, sorry. Okay. Um, if the weather is good tomorrow, I will clean the garden. When I learn a lot of money, when I, uh, I learn a lot of money, I will buy a new car. When I am 70 years old, I will. I will travel to the world, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos estas oraciones y es, es bueno que las, como que terminemos, las complemento, ¿ok? Eh, I, por ejemplo, I want until I am 25. No, esta no. Esta sí. I will sleep before I eat breakfast tomorrow. Or I will send a report before I eat breakfast tomorrow. Entonces, en este caso tenemos diferentes frases que ya las tienen en su grupo de WhatsApp. Y en este caso, lo único que vamos a hacer es completar las frases, ¿ok? Así que, pues, eh, pueden verla ahí. Está bastante práctico. Entonces, eh, el, el punto es completar las frases. Tenemos varias. Eh, elijan las más prácticas que ustedes consideren. No se compliquen tanto. En... Anótenlas. Porque después van a escribirlas oraciones de su compañero. Remember, if you want to present your ideas, that's that's easy. That's not difficult. It's a fácil. But when you present the ideas of your classmate, that's another thing. Eso es otro punto. Porque ustedes ya utilizaron el listening y el writing y la escritura. ¿Ok? Aquí hay varias. Ustedes eligen tres y se las dicen a su compañero y las va a escribir. Luego tenemos esta otra actividad. En esta otra actividad lo que vamos a hacer es descifrar el código. Por ejemplo, tenemos en la número uno, dice, very yesterday, tenemos aquí eh, un dibujo que muestra eh, el clima helado, o así. Entonces dice, it was very cold yesterday, or yesterday it was very cold. Entonces, aquí una palabra que tienen que, pues, escribir en lugar del dibujo, ¿verdad?, Aquí tenemos esto. Nine sentences. Eh, nueve oraciones. Pero ya está la primera, así que solo serían ocho. ¿Verdad? Tiene que descifrar el, el, el código, ¿verdad? Según cómo está el ejemplo. ¿Okay? We're going to work in pairs. I'm going to give you like seven minutes. Les doy como siete minutos. And then we continue, ¿ok? Los voy a... Este... Voy a crear los equipos, los que están activos principalmente. Okay, see you in a moment, my dear friends.
Ok, Alejandra y Noé ya les envié la solicitud para que la puedan aceptar. Alejandra, ¿te llegó la solicitud?
Okay, my friends, let's see what are the first sentences that you got. And if you don't notice, we are using time clauses. Estamos utilizando aquí eh, pues parte del tema que ya vamos a estudiar, que son las eh, oraciones eh, temporales, time clauses. Cuando decimos when, before, as soon as, in case. So I need you to write at least two sentences of your partner. Okay. I know that your partner uh, told you three. Okay. Maybe you can have, I'm going, for example, you can write them here. Okay. Here's one example of your sentences. Please write two, this two uh, sentences from the three that your partner told you. Okay, solo dos oraciones vamos a necesitar. Okay, please uh, text them here, and I'm going to be waiting here. Uh, I texted one sentence to show you an example. Okay, I'm going to wait here in the chat. Okay, let's start with David. Uh, could you read your sentences, please? Then we go with Katia. Okay, David. Okay, teacher. When I have my winter holiday, I'm going to travel to England. Mm -hmm. I am going to read a book before I go to bed today. Thank you, Katia and they know it. I feel a uh, hundred dollars. I will buy a lot of food. And in case it rains tomorrow, I will stay at home. 
Thank you, Noé, and then Oscar. After this class finishes, I'm going to do it some work. Before I go to work tomorrow, I will can't have to rest. Thank you. Nice. Oscar? If the weather is good tomorrow, I will wash my car. After this class finish, I'm going to make a ham and cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice. Maritza, please. After. After this class finishes, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. I'm going to do uh, when I, I earn, earn a lot of money. I will buy a house. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Voy a explicar lo siguiente. En este caso, no estamos hablando eh, del presente o del futuro, eh, pero veamos en... Look at this. Aquí dice, when I see my friend, I will. Aquí no se traduce a cuando yo veo a mi amigo, yo, sino cuando yo vea, ¿ok? Luego, después que esta clase termine, yo voy a... En, en caso llueva mañana, no dice en caso llueve, en caso llueva mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, cuando yo tenga 70 años, yo voy a, ¿ok? Y esas son las time clauses que vamos a ver en un momento, ¿ok? Let's complete this, solo nos quedan, ¿qué? 17 minutos y terminamos, ¿ok? Let's go with this. Eh, do we have volunteers for this? Number one, it says, it was very cold yesterday, or yesterday it was very cold. Guillermo, please. And they are playing chess in the living room. Okay. Yes, uh, David. What number? Uh, number two. They are playing the cheese, chess in, in the living room. room. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yes, they are playing chess in the living room. Okay. We okay. okay. Perfect. Number three. 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 Uh, she studies uh, algebra at university. Okay. Thank you, uh, Noé. Thank you, David. And then Evelyn. Okay. Okay, number four. What kind of music do you like? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Evelyn, you have number five? Number eight. Mm -hmm. This weekend, I'm going to play. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, number two, they're playing chess in the living room. Three, she started this al algebra at the university. What kind of music do you like? Number four. Okay, let's move. And let's see. Evelyn says number eight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we go with Maritza. What is uh, your sentence, uh, Evelyn? Uh, hey, uh, this weekend I'm going to play. I'm going to play what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to play. To play. ¿De qué es el dibujo? Es una como raqueta, mm -hmm. como tenis. Say tenis. <laughs> Let's say tenis, okay. Eh, Maritza and then Katia. Number nine. Did you watch TV last night at home? Mm -hmm.
You do watch TV last night. Oh, puede ser at home last night. Okay, thank you. Katia. Okay. And then Rosalie. I'm not finished, teacher. <laughs> Five, six, or seven? No. No. No, actually, que ya había hecho yo ya las mierdas. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Rosalie and Oscar. And the number. And the number. Number four. Five. Number four is already done. We have five, six, or seven. The five. Five is there not are the any table. There are there are no they are not any glass, <laughs> glasses okay. on the table. Porque está hablando okay. de vasos, copas, o de there son eh, vidrios. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, you have yours, and then maybe we can have John. Number six. Is there any milk in the refrigerator? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. John, uh, you have number seven? Okay, maybe not. Rivas, number seven. Or oh, Daniel? I don't have, have any uh, good dinner. Okay, okay, good. Esta está me entonces extraña. I have not got mm -hmm. any, creo que es dinero, ¿verdad? Money. I have not got any money. Es como le decía, I've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to go with the last uh, topic of tonight. Here we have this. Está bastante fácil. These are called time clauses. Así se le llaman a eso, okay? Time clauses. And here we have this. And maybe we can read this. Um, Guillermo, could you read sentence number one and number two, please? Yes, teacher. Um, Four. Before you start uh, writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. Good. After the pay, we can start placing the package on the truck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Noe, could you help me with number three and four, please? Okay, teacher. We are authorized to change items until they check the purchase order. As soon as we register the order in your system, you can take it home. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Antes de hacer los ejercicios, les explico esto. Sorry. Do you listen? Oh, ¿Me escuchan? ¿Sí? No me escuchan. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ok. Las time clauses. ¿Qué son las time clauses? ¿Verdad? Son las oraciones como temporales. Aquí tenemos con las conjunciones, conjunctions. Puede ser con when, puede ser con while. Puede ser as soon as. When significa cuando, while significa mientras y as soon as es tan pronto. Por ejemplo, let's cross the bridge when we come to it. Vamos a cruzar el puente cuando eh, vayamos para allá, cuando pasemos. Number two, we'll keep on driving while there's still daylight. Eh, seguiremos manejando o conduciendo mientras haya luz de día. Y luego tenemos la última, the baby can cry as soon as he's born. El bebé puede llorar tan pronto como nazca. Ahora, ese azul estaba en la actividad anterior. Bien. Ahora, estas time clauses tenemos acá. Look. Time clauses answer the question when and can be introduced by the following conjunctions. Oigan bien. Entonces, las time clauses principalmente responden la pregunta cuándo. ¿Cuándo pasa esto? Ahora aquí. We don't use a future form or a conditional tense in a time clause. O sea que no utilizamos futuro ni condicional, simplemente el presente. Ahora, 
Tenemos acá. Círculo de correcto word. Before, as soon as, ons, until, after, before, ¿ok? Before significa antes, as soon as, tan pronto. Once, una vez, una vez haya pasado tal cosa. Until, hasta, ¿verdad? Y las otras ya las sabemos. Maybe we can have this time. Guillermo, could you help me with one? And then Oscar. Eh... There is, uh, before I get a, uh... I'm sorry, teacher. No problem, take your time. I know. Mm -hmm. These are kind of tricky. Uh, okay, before I get to job, I have to take a shower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Antes, ¿verdad? Que llegue el trabajo de, 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 de tomar una ducha. No. Tan pronto llega el trabajo, tengo que tomar una, una ducha. It doesn't make sense, ¿ok? Oscar en Noé. The number two, I think is, once you pay for the material, you can start using it. Yeah, una vez que pagues por el material, you can start using it, yeah. Noé, and then we go with eh, Maritza. Give the change. Um, before you know how much the total is. Mm -hmm. Dame el cambio. Mm -hmm. Antes que sepas cuánto es el total o sería después. Right? Después. Después, me, da, me das el cambio. Yeah, Ajá, después uh, que sepas el total. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eh, Maritza, number four, all the workers. All the workers can go before they finish the work. Ok, todos los trabajos pueden irse antes de que terminen el trabajo o hasta que terminen el trabajo. Sí, sería until. Until. Si no, se te van a ir los trabajadores y no van a avanzar, Marit. Ok, so, no, aquí tenemos before you start, antes de que comiences a escribir la orden de compra, debes de chequear cada producto. Number two, after they pay, después de que paguen, podemos estar... Eh, Podemos comenzar a ubicar los paquetes. Three. We are authorized to change. Estamos autorizados a cambiar eh, ítems hasta, hasta que revisemos la orden de compras. Y la última, as soon as. Tan pronto como registremos la orden en nuestro sistema, ustedes pueden llevarla a casa. Ahora, para finalizar, time clauses responden la pregunta cuándo. ¿Ok? Before after, as soon as, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es el, el objetivo principal de las time clauses, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a continuar mañana para terminar este tema. Recordarles que el día de mañana vamos a, pues, eh, vamos a realizar la, la encuesta de satisfacción final, ¿verdad? Espero que no falten porque siempre me piden que todos la hagan, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si levante el, el thumb up del emoji si ustedes ya recibieron la información en su correo o en su whatsapp sobre la, la encuesta Guillermo John uh -huh. Noé Rosalí ok, some of you thank you, el resto creo que se les va, les va a llegar verdad eh, mañana seguramente ok, no falten mañana es, es, es la última pues clase y vamos a terminar con, lo, con los últimos temas que nos hacen falta, que son pocos. Eh, sugiero, ¿verdad? Sugiero que eh, terminen el examen final. Eh, si pueden, ¿verdad? Avancen. Sé que algunos ya están en la tarea 19, ¿verdad? Otros pueden terminarla después mañana, ¿verdad? También eh, puede ser, si no, en la mañana del miércoles, pero temprano, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, terminar, ¿ok? I'm going to call you one by one. And we say goodbye. Comenzamos con Adi, no, right? Ana Cristina, Carlos, Elias, eh, Rivas, hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Marcela, Daniel. Present, good night. Good night. David. Present, good night. Thank you. Alejandra, Evelyn. 
present. Good night. Thank you, Graciela. Guillermo. Present. Nice. Jose Andres, no. John. I am here. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow, everyone. See you tomorrow, my friend. The last class, the última clase, Katia. Present. Good night, Maritza. Present. Good night. Night, night. Uh, Noé. Present, teacher. Good night. Bravo. Thank you. Present, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Oscar. Hi. Present. Okay, Oscar, te quedas ahora un par de minutos, okay? Al final. Perdón. Thank you. Rosalí. Present. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, Susi, Teresa. Okay. See you tomorrow, my friends. Mañana, última clase. No se la pierdan. Y terminamos el módulo. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. See you bye, bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Ok, eh, Oscar, este, bueno, ya sabes, ¿verdad? Que este tiempo es principalmente para eh, solventar algunas dudas que, que puedas tener con respecto a algunos temas que consideras que, que, que te hace, que se te dificulta o si necesitas una retroalimentación, tú me dices. O si todo está claro, pues no hay problema también, tú me comentas. Quizás en algunos de los problemas que he visto o que me cuesta eh, entender, es en el cambio de del did y el going to bueno en el en el, en el ing ¿En el ajá ah en el gerundio sí Ok. ya me revisé Por lo menos ahorita que estaba viendo de que hay unas ocasiones en que la tercera persona creo que se le aplica, se le pone una S al final. Vaya, ya. Bien, esto es algo que... Bien, veamos eso de los gerunds. Sí, es que creo que como esas clases sí te las has perdido, digamos así. Uh -huh. Bien. Yeah. Los gerundios son verbos con ING que tienen la función de sustantivos. No es como que digas, I am working right now, estoy trabajando ahora. No, sino que son verbos que tienen la función de sustantivos. Y puede funcionar como sujeto, a subject, como puedes ver aquí. Increasing our sales is mandatory or producing high quality goods is our target. También pueden estar después de algunos verbos. Por ejemplo, acá. I think that I prefer getting a bank loan, ¿verdad? Y después de las preposiciones. Son tres casos que te lo ponen acá. Yo normalmente veo que hay muchos verbos que van después de esto. Por ejemplo, mmm, vamos a utilizar avoid. Avoid es evitar. Aquí te digo, I avoid watching TV at night. Yo evito uh -huh. ver televisión en la noche. Entonces, allí, aunque tenga ING, el significado no, se, no es viendo. Uh -huh. okay. Vamos con otro. Finish. Vamos a ver. Mm. Eh, yo, eh, digamos, yo termino o terminé de limpiar la casa. Uh -huh. Puedes hacer uno con like. Siempre con un verbo ing, por ejemplo, I like. I like reading books. Y ahí estoy diciendo me gusta leer libros. No decís me gusta leyendo libros. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Vale. Sí. 
¿Podrías escribir una oración, algo así, en el chat? Para ver cómo vamos avanzando. Utilizando esos verbos, ¿verdad? Ajá. O sea, después de estos verbos, el siguiente va a ir con ING. Sí. Mira que sí, ¿verdad? A ver. No me equivoqué, en, la, en enjoy era con J. Uh -huh. I enjoy playing guitar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correcto. Vaya. Esa es una forma, ¿verdad? Que puedes utilizarlo acá. Déjame ver otra manera. Permítame, te voy a poner el otro ejemplo. Que lo tengo por acá. El otro ejemplo que es que podemos utilizar los gerunds como sujeto. Por ejemplo, mira la primera. Eating a lot of vegetables is important for good health. El comer, no estamos diciendo que el comer sea un verbo, sino que el ingerir o el comer muchos vegetales es importante para la buena salud. Podrías elegir cualquiera de esos para una de estas oraciones, solo una. Mm, quizás cooking el número cinco One number okay cooking is fun I love making dinner for my friend yeah mm -hmm. entonces ahí está diciendo que cocinar es este, ¿cómo se llama? Divertido. Divertido. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ya viste que también puedes tener sustantivo, perdón, eh, los gerundios como sujeto. Y mm -hmm. es un verbo con, con ING, pero no está cumpliendo la función como verbo. Mm, vaya, sí, esa era la duda que tenía porque ahí no, esa clase no la recibí, es cierto. Sí, no la recibiste, ¿verdad? Y todo sí. eso. Pero, ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Más o menos. Ahorita me he quedado en la última del de la del home. Lo demás sí va al día. Va. Excelente. Entonces, cuando puedas, pues es, eh, la completas, ¿verdad? Y eso sería principalmente porque ya estamos ya por finalizar, Oscar. Solo mañana, ¿ok? Sí, así Pero, es. Pues, ¿verdad? Excelente. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. cualquier cosa, ahí estamos, ahí, ahí, ahí me escribís, ¿verdad? Bueno. Nos vemos mañana, entonces, para terminar el curso. Ok, okay. teacher. Bye, bye.